What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out bad news for Roman Reigns, WWE in trouble, WWE star hospitalized, and other wrestling news. It's just like the hits keep on hitting, man. It's, if it's one thing, it's another. Once again, this is a crazy situation. We literally went from last this last weekend's WrestleMania, just amazing event, everything firing on all cylinders, to this week's debacle after the company just got bought and now merged with UFC by, by Endeavor. Like, it's just, it's crazy how everything changed in one week. So we're gonna check out what's going on here. Appreciate all the love and support, man. Let's get right into this one. Guys, what is going on? This is WrestleMania back with another episode. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest wrestling news stories and rumors you need to know, including Roman Reigns not competing at Backlash, was FTR oh, planning to return to AEW? That. <laughs> How are things looking for AEW Stadium Show? Was Cody versus Brock a last minute move? WWE's big blunder and more. I could have told you that. He's not going to be there for a while. I already knew that. Bad news for Roman Reigns at Backlash? No, the WWE doesn't plan on having Roman lose the undisputed title at WWE's upcoming PLE in Puerto Rico. Indeed, the Tribal Chief won't even be at the show, yeah. at least according to a report from this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Reigns will not be on the San Juan card, or at least that wasn't the plan on Monday, but he will be doing other major events over the next few months. Although Reigns won't be there, Meltzer reports it's likely the show will feature Bad Bunny teaming up with Rey Mysterio to take on the Judgment Day's Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio. Yeah. Diamond Dave speculated that the WWE may book Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar at the show, and if not, it'll likely take place at the WWE's King of the Ring event in Saudi Arabia later that May. Uh, Roman Reigns not appearing at SmackDown. So we may not even have that at Backlash. What's going to be the main event? The Bad Bunny situation? If it's doing the King of the Ring situation, then it may be there. I can see him doing it there. Then I can see Cody versus, uh, versus Brock Lesnar at the King of the Ring if, it, if it's going to be in Saudi. I don't know. This is I don't, then. What's the main event for Backlash? That's that. That really becomes question. Down. Roman Reigns may not be on tonight's SmackDown either, as Damn. WRKD Wrestling is reporting. Please keep in mind that things are currently volatile and things can change on a whim. Currently, Roman Reigns is not scheduled for SmackDown tomorrow night, but Damn. there is slated to be a segment that leads to further tension between Paul Heyman and uh. Jay Uso. While it may seem unusual to have the world champion miss the first SmackDown after WrestleMania. Roman Reigns is a part-time talent at best, and without any significant program on the horizon, the WWE likely feels there's no need for a Reigns appearance. Jeez, <laughs> he ain't gonna even be there. I'm interested in the Uso situation, but you would think he would at least be there for that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> AEW All In off to a good start. Oh, AEW's man. upcoming All In event at London's Wembley Stadium is attracting a lot of attention, chiefly as to whether the promotion can fill the stadium. Hmm. Tony Khan announced the show on the 5th April Dynamite, and now Dave Meltzer is reporting in this week's Wrestling Observer on what we know about fan interest in the show so far. Tickets go on sale to the public on 5-5, but they are doing a pre-register for early access with a code, and there will be a pre-sale on 5-2. That will largely give a strong clue as to how successful the show will end up being. There were reports of 25,000 signups the first day. That's not AEW's bad. AEW's decision to run its first UK show in a high-capacity venue is certainly ambitious. There's Fair. the potential for massive success as well as massive failure. According to Meltzer, AEW is hoping to take advantage of two big anniversaries. Khan is also promoting the show around 2023 being the 100th anniversary of the original Wembley Stadium and the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers, the ownership company of TBS and TNT, the company's mm. U.S. broadcasting partner. While these anniversaries may look good on a marketing prospectus, AEW's ability to draw enough fans to make this a success relies on two factors. One, the appeal of the card, and two, the ticket prices. Mm -hmm. Khan should book this like AEW's existence depends on it. FTR Facts. never intended to return to WWE. 
FTR's win over the Guns on the 5th April did, Dynamite uh, saved them from having to this. leave AEW. But did the new AEW World Tag Team Champions have any intention on returning to the WWE after their AEW deals ended? Well, FTR's Dax Harwood teased a possible WWE return a while back with a tweet, apparently that wasn't the case. Following the team's win, a fan tweeted that the only reason FTR won the belts was that they threatened to head back to the WWE. Cash Wheeler tweeted, Who told you? Dax Harwood <laughs> clarified why they decided to stay in AEW. Give us the belts, we're going back to WWE. Definitely not, that schedule keeps me away from my wife and daughter too much, and AEW will allow us to get back to wrestling, given what appears to be a seismic shift. Yeah, and then, you know, the whole Vince thing, that, that, that would definitely keep them away. <laughs> Vince. And he there's reports he's been there, so this this is not nothing new. It's just Oh bro. <laughs> so annoying. Gift in the WWE's creative department, FTR and their fans must be happy they didn't return to WWE. No, I'm glad they didn't. Though. WWE used Holocaust image in WrestleMania video. Mm -hmm. WrestleMania was a major success both in terms of revenue and publicity. Unfortunately, the WWE recently caught some flack for using an image from the Holocaust site for a WrestleMania hype video. As you might imagine, the apparent error did not go overlooked. Oh, all in all, wow. the video was pretty much what you'd expect for Dominic's new persona. There was only one problem. WWE used an image from the infamous Auschwitz concentration camp. Oh. Ringside News' Felix Upton commented on the video. This was the video package that included several snapshots of prisons. Oh. It turns out one of those photos was not a prison at all. It was a concentration camp. The five-minute video, which aired during the pre-show ahead of WrestleMania 39, showed a shot of Auschwitz as Dominic made comments about being a hardened criminal. Oh, the no. WWE took down the image as soon as it came to its attention. Nonetheless, the Auschwitz Memorial tweeted their outrage at the WWE's Damn. use of the image. The fact that Auschwitz image was used to promote a WWE match is hard to call an editing mistake. Exploiting the site that became a symbol of enormous human tragedy is shameless and insults the memory of all victims of Auschwitz. It's believed that at least 1.1 million people died at this group of camps. Jesus. WWE planned. Hey, yeah, uh, you, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you gotta, you gotta know what you're getting. <laughs> you gotta, whoever messed that up, you, ooh, that was a big mistake. You gotta know what images you're using, where you're getting them from. Because if you don't know, and someone catches that, you have this situation. So Cody versus Brock well before Raw. Was Brock Lesnar's brutal attack on Cody Rhodes during Raw a last-minute decision thrown together by Vince McMahon? Not according to Fightful Select, Sean Ross Sapp. Fightful Select reported this week that while there was some adjustments to Cody Rhodes' WWE Raw plans, this was not one of them. Mm. Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes were not only scheduled to start a program before Vince McMahon, but it was planned well before that. Oh. Rumor has it Brock's talk of taking time off after WrestleMania was just another case of a wrestler kayfabing the locker room. WWE oh. had plans for Jay White. So they, so this was the plan. I heard the original plan was Cody to lose. At WrestleMania, this this has been set in stone for weeks. So, all right, you know, if you choose to believe that, that's cool or whatnot. Um, but it makes sense if that was the plan, and then for him to go through Brock once again, it's ah, like I, I talked about in my video. It, there's some positives, but there's also some major negatives. I think the story should have ended at Mania. Uh, of course, it could be good, but once again, we don't know how fans are gonna react if we're waiting to SummerSlam. We don't know if they can continue this momentum for Cody. I don't know. So we we will see. Especially it's going to depend on what happens with this whole Brock and Cody situation. Before AEW signing, Jay White is all elite, but according to Fightful Select, the WWE was not only confident he'd sign with them, but they had also made plans for him in the promotion. In the following weeks, WWE were confident they'd land White. Along the way, we were told that Triple H and William Regal both showed interest. However, WWE higher-ups said that the company failed to communicate properly along the process before noting that AEW landing him over WWE could have been a product of Vince McMahon's returns and the lack of main roster hires since then. The Patreon site also reported, there were even tentative creative plans made for Jay White in WWE. White reportedly signed a multi-year deal with AEW. Like FTR, White might not do so well in a WWE operated by Vince as he might with one operated by Triple H. Do you yeah. think White made the right decision? Edge looking for Yeah, he definitely made the right decision. Yeah, get the don't don't even he would have killed his stock. Vince would have killed his stock. No. 
I don't even want nobody to come back to WWE, bro. No, bro. I just... No. <laughs> One more match with Christian. Edge has made it clear his current run with the WWE is his last run in wrestling. Yeah. But is there any chance of one last team up or match with Christian Cage? Dave Meltzer commented on this in the latest Observer. Behind the scenes, there was talk of Edge and Christian wanting to team together for one last time or run, but we don't know Christian's contract length and if it would be possible. Yeah, I would love well, to see that. Well, an Edge-Christian reunion would be fantastic. Why would Christian want to return to WWE when they weren't using him when he was there? Back. Latest Logan news. Is Logan Paul staying in WWE? Dave Meltzer is reporting. Logan Paul, when talking about his contract expiring after WrestleMania, did say that he expects to sign a new deal, and during the week, the talk was that he did sign a new deal. Paul and WWE seem to have a good relationship, mm -hmm. and with rumors Paul will wrestle John Cena at SummerSlam, Ooh. it seems like he'll be sticking around. Oh Wrestle man, him wrestling John Cena? That's gonna be good. That's gonna be fucking good, bro. I, once again, you may not like him personally, but the dude, he, he's just every match he's in he's not he's not in there with jokes he's not in there with people like that are just as new as him no he's in there with future hall of famers but like people that have been in the industry for years like they have made a name for themselves he's in there with goats and performing at a, a very great level so him John Cena, SummerSlam? What are we talking about? Sign me up. Salamia will continue monitoring this story. Sign me up. Chelsea Green hospitalized. Last oh, but not least, it looks like Chelsea Green has a good reason to complain. While Green's WWE Karen character is usually the bearer of trivialities, she turns into major complaints for Raw's manager, Adam Pearce. She recently tweeted some actual bad news, informing fans she was hospitalized after WrestleMania. I thought I celebrated my first mania too hard. Turns out I actually had a severe stomach bug and a distended gallbladder. Whoa. Thank God the manager of the ER took care of me. Will not be filing any complaints this weekend. <laughs> Green has been doing a terrific job playing a Karen in WWE. WrestleMania sends its well wishes for oh, a fast for sure. and full recovery. Well, guys, there you have it, the wild. For sure, man. Wishing her a speedy recovery, you know. <laughs> hey, I, I will say this. At the end of the day, these are people like you and me, and they deserve to be treated with respect they deserve to be treated like human beings so you know if they need to get the help that they can get hey man uh uh uh, uh i hope they 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 are able to you know what i'm saying so but yeah what do we do now <laughs> when it comes to roman reigns and well we knew we knew he was about to take his little break i don't even know i, I just don't know man i don't, I don't know the future of smackdown i don't know the future of monday night raw i don't even know what they're doing with cody doesn't look like we're gonna have the cody versus brock match at at backlash maybe we will but it looks like they're saving it for king of the ring i don't know are they even gonna have cody fucking win i don't know will this cody momentum be able to with you know last until SummerSlam potentially will roman even lose at SummerSlam? these are all questions we don't know and they're quite concerning. So comment down below. Let me know. What do you guys think is going to happen? From all the questions I just asked. What do you guys think is going to happen with Roman, Brock, Cody, the, the booking of the shows, all of this? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150k. And I'm still here in the speed of YouTube. Rest in the chat. But we appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.